Alright, yo, what's going on with the Asian sensation? Back with another video. Today's episode, we're doing some BFB Cali. I believe it's BFB Coliseum. And uh, before I get in this video, by the time you guys see this video, I will actually be in Hawaii. So don't expect daily uploads this week, sadly. But um, I'm trying to get some good content out there. I already have three videos scheduled. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to be gone for like a week. So I wanted to get 10 videos scheduled, but that was just... A little too much in a little in too little of time so wasn't able to do that but i was able to schedule some uploads luckily so i hope you guys enjoy that um but yeah let's get it so we want to balloon we want t0 balloon i don't know this dude's got a weird name he's, he's very vocal as well all caps uh, he's a pretty good player. All right. Whiskey, disgusting, dude. That's the worst map. Also, yeah, I do want to do a tier list. Okay, I've never played this map in my life. Uh, I never played this map in my life. <laughs> played Farmyard for the first time recently. Concrete Alley. Okay. Likely going the late game here. I think you could argue Eco is the move here. Um, I kind of feel like he's going to Eco. And if that's the case, I'm going to bring this loadout. This should counter Eco. We'll see, though. We'll see what happens. There should be an interesting one. Is he going to be farming here? He's anti-stalling, so he's probably ecoing then, yeah? Or do I want to place a bomb here, probably? It's not ideal. It's not too shabby either, though. Yeah, I think that's fine. He's definitely ecoing, right? Or is he farming? Okay, he's ecoing with ice. That's fine. We'll see how this develops. I'm just going to need a cluster early game. The good thing about ice against eco players, ice is so, so, so good early game if you're playing against an eco player. Say I was going heli ice and he was ecoing, heli, the ice would just solo so well because the main struggle of ice is space balloons and obviously an eco player is not going to be sending much space eco, so you can really greed heavily with just a snap freeze and maybe a double ice if you need, but let's get it, boys. All right, so he's starting with an ice. I'm guessing... I don't know. Heli Ice Village, maybe? We'll see. We'll see. My plan... Basically, I guess I should probably elaborate on why I went this loadout in the first place. The plan is to get sniper farms going and then just start sending basically non-stops. Oh, my gods. Starting, like, mid-round 20s or so. And that should just drain them. Plus, this loadout can go late game as well. Like, we should be able to counter or defend counters, no problem. Because Bomb Village is that good. Even with a nerf... There was a nerf to the mob assassin under the village, wasn't there? I don't know, but Bomb Village, regardless, is still an exceptional strat. So yeah, you can see we're getting good eco. We don't have to worry about the early game struggles of defending space eco, which is really nice. I will, however, need a sniper on this next round if we want to defend against black balloons. I'm, I'm only going to get up a 0-0 zero, because zero, I don't really think he's going to be sending too many blacks, but he would definitely send one side to just force um black popping power for sure so he's got sub ice probably ninja then i would assume we'll see we'll see i'm gonna send him a few blacks here just because i can still max eco while doing this and we're probably gonna eco to i want to say i want to say 550 because you can get a pretty high eco with this strat normally you would not be able to but since he's not sending any space eco we're able to really greed and get quite a bit of eco. So this is good. He's chilling with quite minimal defense. So he's going to get a really solid eco. I don't know how well this draining process is going to go that I was mentioning. But uh, it's a good experiment. Because I, I haven't really used this strat against eco. I just feel like it would be good. It's just kind of my prediction here. And I think we should be in the right here. We'll see though. Okay, he would quite a bit, actually. Yeah, we're going to 600, I guess. Okay, dude. Now, can this cluster handle round eight yellows? Hopefully. I think we can. I'm going to get down a village here ASAP. Now, we want to place this village in a place where we can fit tons of snipers around it. I think this works fine right here. There we go. And we obviously want to get the village as early as possible. Now, everything I buy within that range is going to be cheaper, so... Makes sense. 600 eco's fine. I'm surprised he stopped ecoing already. It's a little, a little shocking. I feel like you can greet a lot because all he needs is a reactor till around 13. Then he might need like an air burst, but 
Looks like he's going for that. We're going to leak a little bit here. I'm going to get the monkey for it. Don't know. That shouldn't really help too much, but... So there's the reactor. He'll probably start equaling. He's going to balloon boost. Okay, we just get up a semi-auto then. That's fine. And put you on first. Catch some of those leaks. And a few leaks. Nothing bad at all, though. And did you, do I go for a radar scanner here? I don't think I want to. I mean, if he sends tons of yellows, I will, but I really don't want to. Because I want to get up my sniper farm as soon as possible. Okay, he's staggering ices. That's strange. I feel like that's not even going to do anything. That's really weird. Um, but yeah, we definitely want to greed for a sniper farm here. I'm definitely not getting up a radar scanner, by the way. Because if he sends a ton of constant pinks or camo pinks, we have three spikes. And three spikes equals 60 lives, which equals 12 pink balloons. So that's how much we can tank. Quick mass, boys. All right, we're doing this. Boom. Got that going. And get this up. Very nice. Round 14 sniper bank or sniper farm. <laughs> sniper bank. I guess we could call it a sniper bank. Sure. It's pretty good, though. That is pretty good. So now I just start building up snipers. Awesome. That's the plan. That is the big old plan. So we can fit one right here. Very nice, very nice. So he's got an air burst. He can't really do much. Um, I mean, he could send region leads. It'd be okay. But honestly, a 1-4 sniper just shoots so freaking fast. I might put this one on first here. I just get the FMJ in more times than not just because it does help. Sure, the 0.5 out does, but that's a little bit more expensive. Not really in my price range. So we know two-thirds of his towers, I should say. Don't know the third one. I'm, I think ninja makes sense. I'm expecting it to be ninja. Now, sure, we can send only early oh my gods, and sure, the first strike capability one-shots those, but that's also a $20,000 investment. And constantly selling and rebuying that, it ain't cheap. Ain't cheap. But yeah, once we get up our third sniper farm here, then we're going to start to get up a, um, what you call it? Energy beacon. That's the word. Okay. He likes these barbed darts over there. I don't know if they're different after the update or not. I feel like because before a zero two sub was the exact same popping power as a one, two sub. So the barbed darts was irrelevant. If he sends us a molar right now, we just get up in easy balloon impact and we're good. Well, it's not worried about that. Okay, three star farms round 18 is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Okay, we're gonna get another village right here. Just to make this cheaper. And I think right here, I kind of want my uh, cluster up top. Because if he sends like BFBs or something, we would rather have an impact towards the end. Instead of at the beginning of the scent path, you know what I'm saying? So that's the logic there. Let's get this up. Okay. So now, yep, we're saving up for that energy beacon. I could send him a BFB, but I'd rather get my energy beacon first instead of just kill my eco right away. So that's the plan. Um, still, yeah, still don't know his third. It's got to be Ninja, right? If I balloon boost, you think he would fall for it? Watch him Sabo. Watch him Sabo. I'm gonna balloon boost. Watch him Sabo. Dude, he didn't fall for the bait. All right. Well, he did stop ecoing, but he didn't fall for the bait. Oh, he's going to have balloon boost back at me. Nice one. That's funny. That's funny. All right. Well, energy beacon about to be acquired here. Very good. Do we sell this? Yeah, we do. Oh, I can't even afford. I'm a bot. There we go. Okay, now these... Okay, this energy beacon actually has good popping power too. It's double what it was before the update. Update 611 had quite a bit of stuff, boys. It really did. It had quite a bit of stuff. Can we fit this? Is this in range? I guess we won't really know. Yeah, there it is. All right, eventually I'll get up a 1-0 village next to this village. So this village has even more range. Some village exception, boys. I don't even have a cluster up, do I? No, I don't. We're just going full send snipers. No, honestly. Yeah, once I get like 10 of these up, I'm going to start sending, I think. I think that's what we're going to do. And, and then basically we can just send infinitely. We're like, we're not going to run out of money because... These sniper farms come back so quickly. Sure, the energy beacon got slightly nerfed in the cooldown time, but we're just, once we have enough sniper farms, it's not gonna really matter. We're just gonna be getting money out the wazoo. Be nice. Be absolutely bonkers. So 
this is good. Yeah, you can just see how the significant impact that the energy beacon has on how often we get these snipers going. So yeah, he's sure he's max going right now, but it don't matter. He about to get drained in game. All right. Place, por favor, thank you. Very nice, very nice. So we're about to get our seventh sniper farm. There's seven of you bad boys right there. I'm gonna keep on spamming them. And if he counters, we have so much money. And like we we'll use one of these cells for like 8K. So we can get an adequate defense fairly quickly. He sold his ice shards or something right there. So yeah, I'm gonna get up a couple more and then we're gonna start the draining process. And we'll see how it goes. I, I'm testing it. Like I said, I've never used this strat against Eco. So I don't really know how it's gonna go, but I'm pretty confident in what's about to go down. It's gonna be favorable for us. I want some of these on first, actually. We don't, yeah. All right, I'm gonna start sending uh, after this round. We're gonna get down this village as I was talking about earlier. There we go. So now this range is insane. And we can still get up sniper farms while rushing, potentially. Because the oh my gods only come onto the screen every 12 seconds. All right, I, I guess I'm, oh, I accidentally bought. Oh, well, I guess we got 0.50. Okay, now we're gonna start rushing. Basically, this is gonna stall his eco. He's not gonna be able to eco much after this. And it's all, it's only round 25. Like you wanna eco well into round 30s. So sure, I have zero eco now pretty much, but we're not even relying on eco at this point. So we're relying on snipers. So I'm gonna toss him a, we'll toss him an Asian swag station here. And let's see how he does with this. He's going to get up a first strike, I would imagine. But the thing is, he's going to have to keep constantly doing that left and right. No, tomorrow. So let's see what happens. Are we going to see the third tower? No, he's going to stall it. There's no point in stalling that. What the heck was that? Buddy, I stalled and then first striked it. Like, congrats. You want to you wanna kill half speeds? Oh, my God. More than He's got a half speed. Oh, my God. Fetish or what? Strange. Strange. Okay, let's go back to sending. Let's go back to sending ye blames. How many did I send? Did I send him two already or is that just one? I feel like I didn't even send him like anything. But yeah, you can see we're getting up sniper farms and still sending. It's insane. At a pretty constant rate as well, I should add. There we go, this is good. Let's keep on getting sniper farms. Very nice. Now, he has no money to counter us. Let's keep that in mind as well. That's the big thing with Eco. They don't have money. You just don't have money. <laughs> That's why this is such a good counter to get old Eco boys. So yeah, you can see he's first striking left and right. Buying, reset, selling, rebuy. Oh, he's super. Okay. I guess I should have I should have figured that out. I mean, a lot of people use that on this map. I just kind of forgot about that because I never played this trash map. So what he has to do, the most effective way... For him to defend is to get a permanent defense defense that he's not constantly selling and rebuying that way it's going to be a much more efficient defense so let's see what he does i'm still sending it's around 30 now so these are going to be stronger than the oh my gods i was sending earlier he's still trying to eco which is good that's what he should be doing but i think he he's gonna struggle here soon and like sure like these rushes aren't killing him but that's not even necessarily the main, the only purpose. Like we're draining his eco potential as well. Like this is totally fine. I'm gonna get ready. He doesn't, he's not gonna have money for a counter though. I, I should emphasize that. He's just not. And even if he does, we just spam defense like a madman. And if my micro is good enough, we'll defend. So that's the plan. That's the plan, man. Round 32 is around here. It's fine. Okay, I'm gonna send fast cooldowns actually. We're sending fast cooldowns. This is a big rush on the way. I believe he has all his boosts. So that's good. Let's see how he handles this. First strike is going to do not the greatest here. His ice shards is pretty irrelevant here since the sun god steals all the shards popping power. And I think I just keep, I'm going to keep sending spaced now. Just going to keep sending spaced. At the same time, I'm gonna start to get a little bit of bombs placed just so it's easier to get up sufficient defense. Cause he could definitely counter. So yeah, this is this is going well, boys. This is going quite well. 
He has not a high enough eco to pull off sub ice super here. No shot. No shot. He just doesn't have the money. Because we are the drain kings, I guess, boys. Obviously in game. Why did I send him a BF Bizzle? I didn't want to send that. I mean, his loadout is spectacular late game. Don't get me wrong. It actually is, but like, it ain't good enough. All right, let's get up Impactes. Beautiful. And look at his side, bro. That does not look fun. Buddy does. All right, here's the counter. Let's go, boys. We're going to spike the counter. We're going to spike the counter. All right, so this is the fun part. Where we actually get to have a little bit of fun. And he doesn't get to have all the fun. So we're going to do this. Boom, boom, boom. I guess we need another one of these. Good popping bar. Boom, boom. Use all these. Now, at this point, we can actually sell these. All right, so this is fine. Uh, I just can boost. I don't even need to boost this, actually. We don't even need to boost. I'm just going to keep sending. Like, this is such an easy defend. Might as well get a cripple Moab right there. A couple of those bad boys. Use all these. Use that. That's all we need. Easy defend. And we're going to flex on him by not even using a boost to defend. And this is why, boys, we went this loadout. You don't see many people using Bomb Sniper Village, boys. We're built different, though. We're built different. That's all I'm saying. All right. Easy defend. There we go. Not a sweat. Actually, I mean, we are sweating pretty hard in game, but no, a sweat-free defend, I should say. Toss us a well done. We'll swag on him. Swag station is in the building. Welcome to the show. Let's get it. We're going to use a boost here. Just because AI Moab's low key are pushing. Oh my god, we're actually dead at AI. Imagine? No, we would have been fine. I had six assassins to use and uh, village ability. GG's though, that was good. All right, boys, shorter video today, but, you know, time time calls. So, hope you enjoyed. Subscribe. I thought that was a good one. I'll see you next one. Peace.